All right, guys, I have a little tip for you, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. A video that I said I was going to share with you was what kind of meal I would make with that roast I made. And this is the broth that I cooked my roast in, and all I did was crush some, some black pepper. You can use any pepper you want. Those little bits you see is the garlic I had in my broth. So all I did was crush some black pepper. I added some milk. I added a little bit of flour. I mixed the a little bit of the broth with some flour. I used about maybe a one and a half, two tablespoons of flour. But I would say start with the one tablespoon and see if you need more. You could always add more later. But never add a flour to a hot liquid. Always mix it in a little bowl separate. But here it is, a beautiful gravy that I'm making. I might add just a little more milk later to dilute it if it gets too thick. But all it is is the broth. I added milk, some black peppercorns that I crushed. I left some whole, some I crushed, and I added the flour. So this is the gravy from the broth. I am defrosting some frozen peas and I am going to make with that roast I am going to make the old-fashioned chicken and gravy sandwich an old traditional hot Quebec dish it's a hot chicken sandwich except we're not using chicken we're going to use that beautiful seitan I made and I'm going to show you how I make it later but I am defrosting my peas I've got it on low on my stove I like to have those a little crunchy but if you want to make them softer then I say cook up your frozen peas. That I prefer having a little bite to it. Here's the gravy. My seitan is made. So I'm going to put this back on the stove. And I am going to thicken it up. And then I'm going to show you how I present that, uh, that meal. A nice hot seitan sandwich. You can make it for dinner or for lunch. So for now I'm going to thicken this up. And I'll see you in a bit guys. I am going to start preparing my bread. I have... Some homemade bread that I made the other day but the slices aren't very well, they're alright I guess they're not as high not a very big slice I had a little bit of dough so I made a loaf of bread with it but you can use that's the beauty about this recipe is you can use any bread you want you can use toast bread uh, if you make your own bread, you can use that bread. You could buy sourdough, pumpernickel, whatever you want, whatever your heart desires. And you want to toast this bread. So we're going to put this in the toaster. And then we'll fix our hot sandwich. Okay, guys, we're going to toast this. Okay, since that's toasting, I am going to start cutting up my meat. And if you're going to be using seitan, you want to cut it as thin as possible. Now, when you see this video, uh, this the video on how to make the meat is already up. have some that's already cut and you're gonna cut enough meat for one serving and that should be good okay so we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna start plating this as soon as my toast is ready 
Okay, it doesn't look toasted, but it is. All right, we're going to put a couple of wedges of potatoes. Hot potatoes. Holy schmoly. Okay. We're going to put some meat. This is a good, okay for one sandwich, Erica? Mm -hmm. All right. And we're going to put a little bit of gravy. There we go. And of course, our peas. And that's how you make this dish, guys. Very, very simple. Remember, you can use any bread you want. Erica, do you want to give this a try? Mm -hmm. I need to pour some. Yes. And then if she wants more, of course, we'll make her another dish. Okay. Erica? This yeah. Careful, that gravy is hot. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. It's not the chicken, it's vegan roast, but it does a trick. That's right? delicious. Yeah? Good. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to say I love you. Give this a try. And guess what, guys? I'm going to see you in my next video. Mm. Okay, let me make my plate. <laughs>